and Derek at the Lemonex were at this house. And where are we? It's a uh, mechanic station. Have some uh, mice uh, work that we're doing. I did the uh, work in the kitchen already. I put a trap in the, under the kitchen counter and I foamed up some gaps that were behind the uh, uh, drawers. Pulled the drawers out, filled up a gap there. And it looks like they're coming through the finished part of the basement, which I told her. It's the finished part of the basement. And they're going through a vent up into, into the cabinet area. Not in, uh, this is, this part is unfinished but the mice are going going through uh, this uh, finished ceiling up on top and just, they're going through the uh, the walls. Let me show a spot here if I can find my flashlight. I'm bringing all my gear. I have traps, bait, bait, all kinds of goodies. Snap traps, tracking dust, uh, RTUs, and then I clean up uh, from the other exterminator that was here years ago. I cleaned up the other other products that have like stuff that's like three years old. They put placements three years ago and just left them. And this whole place has been getting mice. So you can see the droppings throughout. This is like the finished. This is like the finished area. So I'm going to concentrate on the perimeter part and just uh, take care of the mice in the areas that they're most active. You can see how the wall, there's a gap there so they can go around the whole perimeter of the uh, house, of the basement. It's never truly finished off. And you can see gaps. Uh, you know where mice can go up go up uh, behind the wall area and even where the insulation is you can see the sheetrock the gypsum board that acts as a firewall between the units and they can actually go up up in there and get into the wall section and we look for uh, pipe chases if there's any gaps that need to be filled up filled up and you see a big opening right here we don't know what was there I think there was plumbing at one time I think they redid the kitchen I think this is where the, yeah, you can see the water stains. That's where a sink used to be. The sink's not there anymore. The oven is here and there's a cabinet. So I think the original sink used to be here. So you see the water supply. I guess the water supply, that water supply is actually going to the second floor. Unless it's branch, branching off. It could be branching off to the sink. But the sink's way over here now. The sink's up up on uh, this part facing the living room so this is where it looks like the drainage line for the old pipe is and the mice just get up in there so I'll explain to them that the house was remodeled and that's why the mice are getting in now see all the droppings on the ground that's from them uh, right around up there they have access to this whole section no problem. To me, it's pretty simple. I do a nice thorough inspection, but I like to take notes just in case it gets complex, and then I'll have notes exactly uh, what my next move would be if something happens uh, that we missed a mark. Uh, so I want to get proper placements. So I brought a ladder. I'm going to put placements up here. So if there's some kind of failure or some kind of resurgence of activity. Uh, when I come back, at least I have something to go by. So here's another glue board. We don't know when that was dated. They're just putting kind of glue boards every which way. Not in the predictable spots. So, yeah. And then uh, we can offer cleanup too after we get everything done. And there's no more mice for about 45 days. We can offer cleanup. We can take all the sold insulation out and vacuum and sanitize they want to get this place nice and healthy.